Hello YouTube, it's been a while, it's been a good while, but uh, here I am again, Ryobi Link. I got the big box down there, two mediums and two smalls. Let's give you the 360. I like how the wheels are big and it'll go over the grasses over there better. I have the Craftsman uh, version of this. I forgot what it's called. I still use it, but um, this one, you press that button and this handle will go down. And you just lift up. Oh no, you don't. It's hard. You still gotta press that button and lift. I only have one hand. So the way you take them off is under these handles is a button. You press that button right there and um, it'll disengage it because on these, they have those um, hooks. It will um, hook into that. So basically, try to do this one handed again. Pressing that button and lift. Just that easy. So what do I have on the first one? These are plastic. And um, it's weather sealed somewhat. It's rubber. It's got a place for your bit holder. I have that right there. These are the sets that you can buy for Ryobi and you just remove these um, holders and pop them in there. You can buy those sets and just pop them in there. I don't use these, I use the better ones. So um, I just use this as spares, you know, if I need it. But um, they're in there. So these are my drills. My mid torque impact drill driver polisher um, impact again and hammer drill. I want to say that most of my stuff is um, HP or brushless. I still got the um, older brushless models here. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to transition into the HP but these still work and um, I've been trying to sell some of my stuff but um, let's see what's on the other ones. This one's a little bit empty. It's got all the you know accessories or the parts that you need like some saw blades and I've got this HP at this uh, one and a quarter socket wrench I'm trying to get the 3 8 one so that's that um, I don't buy the foam inserts because I feel like I can put more tools in here without the foam inserts. Now there are times that I want to be neat and everything, like my camera gear, you know, I got laid out with the foam and my guns, I got laid out with my foam, but I feel like tools, I don't need to be that delicate with it because I use it. I don't abuse it, but you know, I use it. And they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get scratched. I can live with that. What I can't live with are, you know, dirty guns and disorganized everywhere with that my camera gear I can't do that with tools I feel like I can just you know shove them in there and that's good enough for me there you know some moments that I can be you know a neat freak some moments I you know I can live without it getting into one of the medium cases I've got the some of the bulkier items on here um, hand router Handheld router. 
staple gun. And um, this was misting. I, I usually put disinfectants on here and mist it. And I've got brushless grinder. I think I've got three brushless um, tools left. That's one of them. I got brushless grinder, drill, impact, and I think I have I have this one. This is my other medium box. Brushless. I got the cutoff tool. Um, rotary. Soldering. And um, the handheld um, HP brushless reciprocating saw. So that's that. And then I've got the bigger one down there. Okay, now this is the bigger one. This is the one with the wheels. I think, well, I guess all of them have the bit holder here. I didn't put anything on that one. But these are basically where I dump most of my things. Sander, another sander there. But yeah, we got that brushless 10 inch saw down there. I've even got this polisher. This is not brushless though. But yep, that's that. So yeah, so just imagine if I foamed this up. I mean, how many tools can I fit in there? You know what I mean? So I didn't put foam in it. So let's see how easy this is to put back in there one-handed. See those locks in the bottom? So here we go. Lift. Just like that. I remember the Craftsman had locks in here on the sides that you had to flip up. So this one you just drop it. And when you take it off, press that button and lift it. And that's that. I'm going to take it across the grass onto my storage over there. And I like how, you, like again, the big wheels and there's a place where you can put your foot, step on it, get it going. All right, let's see how this goes in the grass. Effortless, effortless. It's just kind of heavy with all of that. We're there so we're at my shed now all of those tools used to be on this wall see the hooks I'm gonna reorganize this um, shed again and repurpose it still got my lawn um, equipment there still got some stuff here that I did not put up over there this is called the um, Rubbermaid Fast Track. That's made for their plastic sheds. So yeah, still got some tools there. Um, table saw and miter saw on the floor. I tried to hang them there. They do hang, but I'm just afraid that it may rip those hooks off the wall because these hooks are just hanging on in those plastic holes there and one of them in the corner over there has already popped up popped out and it's just holding those lightweight um, you know weed whackers and such so I did hang the miter saw over there for a few days um, it did okay I just didn't trust it so put it on the floor with the table saw that that table saw is the hp cordless model i haven't tested that out yet but yeah that's it ryobi link got it for father's day <laughs>